one of the books I've been reading, um, and I'm like almost, almost done with it here. Uh, Creativity Inc. Um, the recent release book on like the management of Pixar by the great Ed Ed Catmull. It's been a really fun read just because I'm a huge like Pixar nerd or whatever. But it's 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 I think it's a lot of it's been helping me like view things in a more uh, productive productive way at the moment. In particular, he goes over how like you know Pixar films, right? Really. Really, really creative, uh, you know, really fucking awesome, but are they all a fluke, or is it like, or how do you maintain that, that, that excellence, that, that stellar environment of creativity and, and keep that coming in, you know, day after day, right? And, uh, one of the things he goes over here is the childlike mind, which is what I was talking about earlier, which is what I'm really getting to right now, the, the childlike mind. Think about it, when you were a kid and you learned your first language, or really when you learned anything as a kid, you picked up on everything, you you didn't have an ego, you didn't judge, you were just open and receptive to all, all information that came at you, visually, sight, touch, smell, all, all that stuff, right? And then, I don't know, you get older and, and you lose that. And how it's relevant to now is with Yoshi's Island, when I was 15, I played so fucking often, I played every fucking day, and all, like, in my mind, the goal, seeing the task played out, and seeing the task played out, and, like, in my head was, like, absolute visual nirvana, or whatever, right? Like, I, like, that was, like, the pinnacle of IRL to me, was being able to do that. So like, I just continually pursued that that white light in the tunnel, and the journey was just as fun as the destination, which I I feel I've never really have gotten to, but whatever. Like you know, that shit was really really fucking fun, and I feel and I didn't you know I didn't I didn't get burned on Yoshi's Island then. Um, I thought it was really fucking fun when there was zero external incentives to get into speed running like money or stream success or e fame or all that other shit. And, uh, I feel like I definitely lost that at some point in the last, like, <clears throat> ten years or whatever the fuck. Or especially the last, like, uh, four years, really. I've been trying to focus on getting that back. As of now. So, you know, back in July I got inspired to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the, the product of all that dedication to streaming, even though I've done, like, a, a mediocre job at best with it. And, you know, I want to take it to the next level. I do want to go full-time with it in the future, uh, whenever all the, all these things line up, we're slowly getting there, you know, I'm working out more often to, uh, have a more sound body and be able to DDR better and feel better about myself and sleep better and feel better and, you know, just working out something I should have been doing and I'm doing it now and it's going really, really good. Um, but, uh, what was I gonna say here? What was I going with this? It's already... A lot of thoughts here going on at the moment. Um, so, what I'm trying to do right now is, rather than just grind for practice and be two stop, to beat two stop, and then get the best time, these are all, that whole mentality is to go out the window because it was, me getting to where I am now was never, it was never about competition. You have, you have to remember, when I was playing Yoshi's Island in 2005, speedrunning it formally, like, it wasn't, there was no leaderboard, there was no competition, no one really played the game other than me and, like, a couple, like two other guys on SD at the time. There was no, uh, it was just me, myself, and just having fun going in. Like, I don't know, maybe I let, like, speedrun drama get to me or e-penis measurement get to me about gotta have world record, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like I'm letting all that go, and I'm just trying to bring back what, why I got into it in the first place, which is which the exciting thing is new tech. So I go back to that white tunnel that or that white light in the tunnel, which is to me at this point the fucking the hundred percent task. Like I look at that, and my fucking boner is just raging so hard I have to hide the crotch cam when I'm watching the hundred percent task because you're gonna see some fucking soft wood and then some full on wood very quickly when I watch that, so, uh, I, I, I try to, uh, so I bring that back, I, I, 
you're going to see the 100% task uh, probably brought up way more often now because it's working. Like, I, I, I see it, and I, I see it, and I want it. I want it really fucking bad. So, it's not about being, having, you know, sub 237, 33. It's about, I want to be the task as much as fucking possible. Let's fucking go. Let's make that a thing. And, like, when I watch it, even I'm like, damn, this is fucking fresh. So I know that you, the unfluent person, is like, holy fuck, this is like, you can't even keep up with it. There's so much going on. Right? So that's, like, the new thing now. Like, the childlike mind. It's very, very powerful. Fuck being an adult. Fuck being trapped in the real world. Be fueled by the dreams, not fueled by reality. Instead, let the dreams, let the lifetime goal be the dreams match and become the reality, right? So, 